So I just wanted to show a close-up of the two dogs. So the one dog that I made with the pink eyes, I named Anastasia. She has a handmade collar and I show how to make this crochet collar. And then I purchased the name tag from Serendipity. It has a little surfboard with the name tag. And then here is the brown eyed dog and I named this dog Lucky. I purchased the collar for this dog. So you could purchase a collar or you can make your own. And then her name tag, her name is Lucky. I also show how to put the the claws on and you can have fun with the different yarn colors for the claws. And this is what the dogs look like from behind. There's a free written pattern for these dogs, the Crochet Afghan Dog, and you can find it on www.helenmaycrochet.com and you can use Google Translate as well. So I just wanted to show the size differences. So this crochet afghan dog, if you can make the crochet afghan dog, you should have no problem with the crochet mustang horse. This is my black beauty horse. And you should have no problem with the magical unicorn, the large magical unicorn. Those have separate video tutorials. And also I wanted to show the size difference with the small Siberian Husky dog compared to the Afghan dogs. So this is my small Siberian Husky. There's a separate video tutorial for that. And the small Siberian Husky is about the same size as my crochet squirrel, which is a lot of fun. And my crochet squirrel has a little acorn that opens up, so it has a zipper that opens up the acorn. Now with my large horses, I have a zipper pouch in the body, so I show how to make that. And the unicorn also has a zipper pouch. For this crochet project, you're going to need your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, as well as a tapestry needle or a darning needle, a pair of scissors, a regular pair of scissors, and then I use my embroidery scissors to cut the small hole in the glitter felt. So this is what the eye is going to look like on your crochet dog. I use the 20 millimeter brown safety doll eyes. These are by 6060 Eyes, and I use the white glitter felt as well as the black glitter felt. And for these, I decided to use my white sewing needle and thread, and you can use your black sewing needle and thread for the, to sew the glitter felt in place. For this crochet dog, I decided to use the safety doll nose. This is a 30 millimeter safety doll nose from 6060 Eyes. Here are the measurements for the eyes. I have a free download for this on my website, www.helenmaycrochet.com. And here are the measurements. If you want to just cut your own out of the glitter felt. So the smaller oval is what you would cut out the white glitter felt with and the larger oval is what you would cut the the black glitter felt. To add a more rigid neck for the head to support the head I used craft wire. I wouldn't recommend using craft wire if you're making it for a small child but this is the craft wire that I used. I like using this one because it's so malleable you could cut it with your scissors 
The size that I used is the 12 gauge by Doris, wired accents, aluminum floral wire. I also use the plumbing tubing over the craft wire, so it also adds rigidity and it also helps to cover the wire. So the size that I used is a half inch ID by 5 eight, 5 8 inch OD, so inner diameter, outer diameter. I used about 12 inches of this inexpensive hardware tubing and I used approximately 30 inches of my craft wire. For mine I used Crafter's Secret Big Idea and I love this yarn. It works great for this project. This one has 810 yards, 740 meters, 100% acrylic. Some information about this yarn. The color is Magnolia Way. It's just a really beautiful beige colored yarn. Also has a free pattern included. So for mine, I was able to do the head, make the head and the body, and now I'm making the legs, but you could see how it's going to be close. So I'll let you know if I need another skein of this one. So you may need one extra smaller skein if you're making this crochet dog. For the hair on the dog, I use Lion Brand Yarns, one skein. This is the Homespun Thick and Quick. It's a 88% acrylic and 12% polyester. This skein has 160 yards or 146 meters. The color is Dove. It's a super bulky. You're also going to need a dog brush. I used one with flexible wire bristles to brush out the hair. You're also going to need a hard surface where you can take and brush the hair to make it look cottony, a more cotton-like look. And any excess yarn that you have after brushing, you can just take off and then just put it in a large Ziploc bag. You can use it for stuffing also, so it's not wasted. You're also going to need a small amount of black yarn for the mouth. So just a little tiny bit to embroider the mouth. So Red Heart Black Yarn works great for that. Now for this crochet dog, it's smaller than my crochet large horse, but it's large enough to where you could put a zipper pouch on the back. So if you like the idea of having a secret compartment or a zipper pouch on the back of your dog, you can go to my crochet large amigurumi wild horse pattern and I show you how you can put in a zipper pouch. The eyelashes are optional so I'll show you how to place the eyelashes if you like that look. I think it looks adorable with the eyelashes. These are fake eyelashes. I used, if you like the eyelashes that I used, I used Kiss Ever Easy Lashes. It just comes in a pack. I used these in my crochet squirrel Amigurumi video tutorial as well, so it's some of my leftover eyelashes. For this crochet project, I'm using a full eyelash, whereas in my crochet squirrel, I cut it in half and used half of it. So for this video tutorial, I'm going to be using the full eyelash pair. And I just realized that this pack of eyelashes comes with a pair of tweezers, which will work great. So I can use these twi tweezers to kind of press down the eyelashes after I glue it in place instead of a q-tip. So you can use a q-tip or the little tweezers that come with the pack. The glue that I use, I like using this glue and I keep it in a Ziploc bag once I've opened it so it doesn't dry out. But this is Gorilla Glue and I like this one because it comes with a brush and nozzle. So it's easy to brush the glue where you want it and control where you want it a lot easier. So we're going to make the eyes first. So you can go ahead and get your favorite safety doll eyes. And I'm using a pair that I got from 6060eyes.com. It's a 20 millimeter safety doll eye. 
So the first thing you're going to do is just cut out the black felt and the white glitter felt. And then trim it how you want how you want it to look on the eyes. So I'm happy with my original size that I had. And then just kind of place it on there to see how it's going to look. So I want this skinnier portion towards the bottom. And then once you're happy with the look of it, we're going to cut the little holes for the safety doll eyes. So what I did was I just took my safety doll eye and then you just kind of place it where you want it to fall on the glitter felt. So I'm thinking that the hole about right here towards the bottom is where I'm going to place mine. So I'm going to get my embroidery scissors. And you're going to take one at a time because it's a little thick to try and cut through both at the same time. So again, you're just going to kind of line up and see exactly where you want it. And then just fold it at that point. And then you can take your embroidery scissors after you cut a little small X at that point and then just kind of widen it gently with your embroidery scissors and make sure that it can fit through. Then you're going to take and line up the white portion with where you want to make the opening on the black glitter felt and then just fold it at that point. And then you just do the same thing. You just kind of gently make a large enough opening for the safety doll eye to fit and I do that with my embroidery scissors. Then you're ready to just place the safety doll eye through and we're not going to put the safety latch yet. We're just going to make sure that the safety doll eye fits in there the way that you want. And then you just repeat the same thing with the other eye. Then just line up the eyes next to each other. Make sure that they are the same size and look exactly the same. And again, do not put the safety latch at this time. And then just set these aside. When it comes time to sew them onto the head, uh, for this project I decided to use my regular sewing needle with the black thread and the white thread to sew it to the crochet work. Then we're going to go ahead and get started with the head. When we're making the head, we're going to start with the snout and we're going to start with the magic circle. So you just take your yarn, drape it across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then take your crochet hook and again I'm using my 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, go under those two loops, then just bring up a loop, and then we're going to make a slip knot. So you just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. So you just bring up a loop, then yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then go through both loops for a single crochet. And then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. So there's my second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And sixth. Then you just take your forefinger and thumb and you hold the base of the six single crochet. Then you have these two loops on the opposite side. Go ahead and pull on one of them. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one, but this one's closing. And don't worry if you don't get it completely closed. We can close it more later. Then just let go and take the loose yarn end and pull on that. Then you just turn your work because we're going to be working in rounds. 
So we're going to be making increase rounds, which means we're going to increase the number of stitches in the round. So in the first stitch, we're going to place two single crochet into the same stitch. And you're going to place two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches. So two single crochet into every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches in the round and then come back. Then if you still have an opening in the center of your magic circle just flip it over and pull on that loose yarn end gently to close it up and then we're going to start our increase rounds and I just use one of my scraps of yarn just place it right where you left off and then we're going to continue the increases increasing the number of stitches in the round so for the first increase round and then we're only going to be making two at first so you just make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch and then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around to the yarn marker so one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch and just repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so now you have a total of 18 stitches in the round. So for each increase round that we make, you just add six stitches from here on out. So I'm not going to give you the stitch count anymore because all you have to do is just add six stitches to get the correct stitch count yourself. Then just take and move the yarn marker up to where you left off for the next increase round. So for this increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches. and then two single crochet into the third stitch and then just repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the third stitch repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so now we're not going to make increase rounds so that means that you're not going to increase the number of stitches in the round you're going to maintain the stitch count that you have and go ahead and move your yarn marker up and for the next four rounds you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around so one single crochet in every stitch around until you've completed four rounds so when you reach the yarn marker you're not going to remove it you're just going to leave it in place and continue working in rounds until you've completed a total of four rounds. After you finish your four rounds, one, two, three, four, then we're going to place the nose. So you just take, and I usually just turn my work so that the loop of yarn is to the side where we left off and then go ahead and get your safety doll nose. I just love the look of this nose. I haven't used this one before. It's a 30 millimeter safety nose and it's just really cute. So I'm going to use this one and again I got this one from um, 6060eyes.com. For this nose what I did was I placed it here is the magic circle. So I went one row up and I went the bottom of the nose to line up with the, the top of that row. So I'm going to put my safety nose in so that the bottom of the nose lines up with, after that first row, not counting the magic circle. So you can see how I have the magic circle here and then one row up and the bottom of the nose lines up with the top of that row. Then once you have the nose positioned where you want it, then you can take 
and place the safety latch. And again, I like the plastic or the metal safety latches best. And then just clip that right on. And then you're ready to resume where you left off. Then we're ready for an increase round. Go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up to where you left off. For this increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches. And then two single crochet into the fourth stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into three stitches and two single crochet into the fourth stitch. Repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now I have 30 stitches in the round and again it still works with the adding of six stitches because I'm going in chronological order meaning that I started with one, two increases and then this is my third increase. So now just take and move the yarn marker up to where you left off and you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around so you're not doing an increase round so your stitches should not increase you should be maintaining your 30 stitch count for a total of three rounds then move your yarn marker up to where you left off we're going to make another increase round you, this, for this increase round we're going to make one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch and then you just repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker then go ahead and move your yarn marker up and this time you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for another three rounds so three rounds of just one single crochet in every stitch around. Then after you finish your three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and move your yarn marker up for our increase round. For this increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into five stitches. and then two single crochet into the sixth stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker then go ahead after that increase round go ahead and move your yarn marker up and again you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for a total of three rounds so these three rounds are not increase rounds, so we're not going to increase the number of stitches in the round. So just one single crochet in every stitch until you've completed three rounds. Now go ahead and move your yarn marker up and we're going to make four increase rounds in chronological order starting with six. So you're going to make one single crochet into six stitches and then two single crochet into the seventh stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker then make one single crochet into seven stitches and then two single crochet into the eighth stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker then one single crochet into eight stitches and then two single crochet into the ninth stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker then go ahead and finish the last increase round which is one single crochet into nine stitches and then two single crochet into the tenth stitch. When you finish this round, you should have a total of 66 stitches in the round. 
Then you can go ahead and move the yarn marker up. And then we're finished with the increase rounds. Now you're just going to make one single crochet into every stitch around until you've completed a total of six rounds. So six rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So then after you finish your six rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, we're ready to place the eyes. So you can go ahead and remove the yarn marker and just leave a little bit of a loop where we left off. We're going to come back and finish that after we place the eyes. Now you can go ahead and get your eyes. And I lined up my eyes with an imaginary line from the nose. So you can see how it lines up. Taking my crochet hook, I'm just showing how I lined up the eyes. And then I slightly angled them out towards the outer aspect of the, the head. And then in between, I have about six to seven stitches. And then I measured from the top row down, so the top of the black glitter portion lines up at the bottom of the third row. So you line it up at the bottom of the third row. Then when you're happy with the placement, you can go ahead and place your metal safety latches on the inside. Then you can take your sewing needle and black thread and then just sew the black portion down first. And then just tie a knot on the inside to secure it. So then you can sew down the white portion and the black portion. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Now you're ready to place your eyelashes. The first thing you want to do is decide where you want to place your eyelashes. So I've already placed one of them. You can see how I placed it along the side of the eye. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So the first thing that I did was just kind of position the eye that I'm going to place the eyelash. Then you get your eyelash ready. So I'm just kind of removing the eyelash from the container. And then I'm just going to slightly lay it down until I'm ready for it. Then I'm going to take my glue with the brush. Be careful you don't drip it. And then you just kind of dab the glue along the side where you're going to place the eyelash. Make sure you don't get the glue on the safety eye. It turns white on the safety eye. Then you just take and grab the eyelash and position it, being careful not to touch the glue. So you just kind of position it. Don't worry about pressing it down. Take your tweezers or a Q-tip and just gently put the eyelash where you want it. Make sure it's lined up so it's equal, looks the same as the opposite side. And then once I've pushed it down where I want it, then I just take a little bit more super glue, Gorilla super glue with the brush, and then I just gently dab on top at the base of the eyelashes. Oops. So just at the base of the eyelashes. I just gently dab some more glue. And you can wait till it's dried too and then do this. And you may even um, do this now and then wait till it dries and add some more. And then it just looks gorgeous. Then you just want to wait for it to dry before you continue on. Then after your eyelashes are dry, we can go ahead and continue closing the head. 
But we're, before we close, we're just going to extend the head a little bit. So you're just going to take your yarn marker, place it right where you left off, and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around until you've completed eight rounds. So eight rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So after you finish your eight rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, we're going to start our decrease rounds. For the first decrease round, you're just going to take and move your yarn marker up, and you're going to make one single crochet into nine stitches. So one single crochet into the next nine stitches. Then you're going to make your decrease stitch or single crochet two stitches together. So you just take your crochet hook, go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop, then go into the next stitch over and bring up a loop. You have three loops on the hook, just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three loops for a decrease stitch. And then you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into nine stitches and then single crochet two stitches together. And repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. You should have had 60 stitches for that last round. And now I already moved up my yarn marker for the next round. For the next round, and we're going to go in chronological order, so the last round was nine, so for this round you're going to make one single crochet into eight stitches, and then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. So you just take your crochet hook, you go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop, then go into the next stitch over and bring up a loop, and then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through all three for a decrease stitch. And then you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. And then for the next round you're going to make one single crochet into seven stitches and then make your decrease stitch. The last round had 54 total stitches. So if you just subtract six then you'll get your stitch count for the round. So I won't be giving the stitch count for the next rounds. So again, just subtract six and you should get your stitch count for the round. The last stitch count was 54. Then for this round, you're going to make one single crochet into seven stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. Now before we continue closing, go ahead and just leave a little loop on the back where you left off and get your black yarn on your tapestry needle. We want to make the mouth on the front before we finish closing. So you just take and go with your tapestry needle to the base of the nose as close as you can get into the center and then just bring the yarn through and leave enough yarn on the inside for tying a knot. Then just take and go straight down. And then I go right below the magic circle, straight down. Then just take and tie a knot on the inside. To secure it. Then you just come up to the side of the area where you just came straight down. So I'm went around about two rows out or two rounds out to make the side of the smile. Then you just go right in at the bottom of the mouth to make one side of the smile. 
Then just come up on the opposite side. Make sure that both sides of the smile are the same. And then just go right back down to the bottom of the mouth. And then just tie a knot on the inside. Then after you finish making the mouth, you can go ahead and take your craft stuffing and just stuff the dog's head. Be careful that you don't overstuff to where the holes, the stuffing will show through the holes, and just enough to where you have enough stuffing to form the head. So as we're closing, you can stuff it more. So the reason why I'm having you stuff it now is to make sure you have enough stuffing in the snout. And then you're just going to make your next decrease round, which is one single crochet into six stitches, and then single crochet two stitches together or your decrease stitch, and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then just make one single crochet into five stitches, and then single crochet two stitches together. Repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then go ahead and move the yarn marker up for the next decrease round. One single crochet into four stitches and then your decrease stitch. Then one single crochet into three stitches and then your decrease stitch. So this is how mine looks after adding a little bit more stuffing. Then I just moved my yarn marker up and then made one single crochet into two stitches and then my decrease stitch. So now you can see how you're almost closed. Now for my next one, I made one single crochet in one stitch and then my decrease stitch. Then you're just going to take and remove the yarn marker and just make decrease stitches until you can't make any more decrease stitches and then you're going to slip stitch closed. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this with you. So you just keep making decrease stitches until you're almost completely closed. Or a single crochet, two stitches together. So now I can barely fit my finger in. So I'm almost closed. I'm going to skip a stitch, go into the next stitch over, and then I'm just going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then just bring the yarn through both loops on the hook. And I'm going to keep repeating that until the work is completely closed. Then you can go ahead and finish off, just yarn over, and then just pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. Then just take your tapestry needle, put it onto the loose yarn end, and go right in where you finished off, and then just come out anywhere. And then that just buries your loose yarn end. Then go ahead and just trim your loose yarn end. And then the head is all finished for now. So you can go ahead and set it aside. We're going to start on the body. You will need a second skein. You don't have to get a second skein that's large like this one. You can get the smaller skein if you want. But to complete this large Afghan dog, you'll need a second skein. So you'll need one of the large Big Idea Crafter Secret skein, and then you can get a smaller one to complete the dog.